Welcome to this tutorial. It's the first part in a three part tutorial series, taking you through the modelling, UV unwrapping and texturing of a Viking shield. In this part, I'm going to be showing you how I'd go about modelling this shield. I believe this method to be pretty efficient and beginner friendly, but if at any point you get stuck, do leave a comment and I'll go back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. To start off, we're going to model the wooden planks. Firstly, let's create a cylinder. Don't worry about the thickness as we just want the round shape, but make sure there is some thickness or else we'll come into issues later. Change the divisions to 16, and we can just delete the top and bottom faces, like so. Fill in the top hole we just made by holding shift and right click and going to fill. We've made an angle, but that's fine as that's what we need. Next, let's just draw in the edges, uh, which will form the planks. Using the multi cut tool, just connect the edges in one direction so we get the planks. In face mode now, detach each of the individual planks by holding shift and right click and go into Extract Faces. Once you've done it once, use the G key to repeat the last action, like so. To speed up the next step, select them all in Object Mode and Combine by holding Shift and right click and go into Combine. Extrude the new object to be the thickness you want the planks to be. Now we have them all the same height, just uncombine them all by going to Separate. Bevel by using Ctrl B, up the segments to 2 and we just reduce the fraction a little. Just repeat for the rest of the planks. Now using the multi cut tool, add some more divisions to make the quads more equal. Leave the sides just for now. Something like this should work good. At the moment, if we hit free to smooth preview, we don't get the round curve on the sides as those edges were beveled too. And just isolate one of the sides so we can see it easily. In vertex mode, select the three vertices in a row and merge them to the centre by holding shift and right click and going to merge verts, merge verts to centre. Now just repeat on the rest, remembering to just press G for speed. I mean we could have deselected these before the bevel, however this isn't too much hassle. Just the last couple now. Okay, so now we've removed the bevel from those edges. Add another edge along this face. It's gonna stop as it's an end gone. However, just add another two like so. To fix the end gone, just connect them like so. Just remember to also do on the other side. Just connecting them up like this. Finally, to fix the triangles, add another edge like this. This makes everything nice and quadded. Delete the plank on the other side and delete history. Create a duplicate of this face and scale it to the reverse. You might need to adjust it a tad bit manually. Combine everything once more by holding shift and right click and going to combine. I'm just going to quickly add a shiny material to this model. So, no wood is super flat like this, especially wood on a Viking's shield. In vert mode, select all the verts and go to edit mesh, transform. Click the box on the end to bring up the menu. Set the random setting to 1 and click transform vertex. Click the blue dot sticking out from the gimbal to position it better. As you can see, as we move the gimbal around, all the vertices go in a random direction. Don't go too extreme, but just adjust them to look more like wooden planks. You could sculpt this detail, but this is faster in my opinion. Now 
Once you're done, pick a side to be your front and rotate the mesh accordingly. I think the front looks best, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Center the mesh of the world by going up here and setting it to absolute transform. Type 000 into the X, Y, and Z. This is going to make the next steps a whole lot easier. Okay, next we're going to model the metal ring which holds all the planks in place. Draw out a cylinder and like the planks object, center it to the world. Scale it out to the proportions you want, matching something similar to what I have here. Delete the top and bottom faces and extrude to give some thickness. If your normals are the wrong way around like mine, just flip the normals to correct things. By in face mode, hold and shift and right mouse button, go into face normals, reverse normals. Just make sure it scales so the planks don't clip through. Select each of the 90 degree edge loops and bevel them. And then just reduce the fraction a little bit. So we can see things a little bit better, I'm just going to isolate the ring by pressing Ctrl 1 in object mode. Now select the four of the faces we just made and extrude them in. Ctrl E and just smooth them out like this. Scale each of them in to create this look. Now it's time to bevel everything. To do this, we want to select all the edges and just deselect all the ones holding the curve like this. We could do this on one quarter of the ring and just kind of mirror it all back, however this isn't really too much hassle. Press Ctrl V to create the bevel and just play around with the fraction and set the divisions to two. You could go in with the transform tool and add some randomness like we did before, however for the purpose of this I'm not going to. Right, so now let's create the centre dome piece. To save time, I'm going to move past each step quite quickly as it's mainly techniques we've covered earlier in the tutorial. So you're going to want to create a 12x12 12 12 sphere like this. And then just centre the sphere to the grid, that way we know it's 100% in the middle. Scale it to the size you like. Now, isolating it so we can see it better, just delete the bottom half. Selecting the bottom edge, just extrude it like this, and then just extrude down so you get it to look like this. Just check and make sure it doesn't come out the other side. Bevel the two edges to hold them when it gets smoothed. Let's just recycle the center piece to make our bolt. Let's duplicate it, and move it over to the side, and let's just delete all this stuff that we just made. Now, just extrude in like so. Don't worry about adding the supports and edges, as I feel the roundness is quite nice. Scale the bolt down and just position it around the shield. It sounds weird, but the less accurate you do this is probably best. Okay, just a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. And there. Okay, great. The shield is flat at the moment. If you want that, you're done. However, I want a curve shield, and to do this, we're going to use a deform modifier. Combine everything like we have done before, and just delete the history. In the modeling menu set, go to Deform, Non-Linear, Wave. And just navigate to the settings. Now, if we increase the amplitude, you can see what's going on. Change the wavelength so that we only have one wave. You can just play around until you have the shape you want. Probably something like that. Now to finish up, just delete the history. In fact, in face mode, I'm just going to scale down the dome and scale it a little as it's a tad too tall.
And that's it, we finished the Viking shield. Modeling everything flat and then adding the shape afterwards makes the modeling process so much quicker and easier. I hope you found this part of the tutorial helpful. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one where we UV unwrap the shield ready for texturing. Hey!